hi friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is Zinawe. thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for liking commenting subscribing and all that good stuff i have something very interesting to talk about and those are the five things i wish i knew before coming to ukraine so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video is the language you guys people know that ukraine that like ukrainians don't speak english it's not an english-speaking country but then they don't stress so much about it like people don't you know make you know the importance like how important it is it's very important it's something that you have to know because most of the things are written in ukrainian language or russian language so you have to be very careful and you have to know that most of the times when you're in so many places like banks hospitals uh trains buses most of the times you would be if you're black you would be um the, the the old one out like you be the different one so in most cases chances are that no one can speak the language that you do so you have to be very careful with that and you have to take note of that and obviously some people actually really do speak english very well but then those ones you have to search search you literally have to search before you find them because they're not everywhere and then um the second point is pets pets oh my god if you're one person that doesn't like pets ukraine is definitely not for you because you will see pets everywhere like literally everywhere you will see cats dogs like you guys <laughs> i've had an experience with this thing but i know a lot of people actually like pets including foreigners so that's not a problem it's just that how you treat pets back in your country so you have to if a dog is coming to you you're like hey sick sick go away mm -mm. nothing it doesn't happen like don't do it here because literally dogs have passports so you have to respect them just the way that you as an individual as a person would love to be respected and yeah so that's about it and uh the weather we know ukraine is a cold country and before coming to ukraine i feel like some people even buy jackets bombers what all those things in preparation for this you know to start their the, this new phase of their lives but no, no one stresses so much on how cold it could get it can get very 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 cold in this place and sometimes you're just like oh my god because it's actually really cold and i know sometimes like most times it's quite bearable but then it, it's it's actually cold not that there's no way out of it it's actually really cold obviously you have to wear layers and layers of clothes big jackets and all that stuff but then it's actually really really cold and even with this little little cold that you keep like that um you you feel like it's not that cold and stuff like that cold will just be accumulating inside your body and it it's, it's not going to be good for your health so you have to wear and you have to dress really warmly all the time and in as much as it gets really really cold it can get really really hot see summer i don't really like going outside because it's hot the sun is scorching hot like it's very very it's so hot that mm -mm, it's hot it's actually very very hot i come from zambia and i know my country is hot but then this country <laughs> it's actually hot so you have to be ready for that and if you're one person that enjoys such uh weather then this place is definitely for you because you will definitely enjoy it you will see a lot of people outside then a lot of activities will be going on and it's just a fun time to be you know to be outdoors because at least for more than half the year you're indoors because of the cold for a lot of people that is because i know some people even when it's i don't know minus 17 they still want to be outside chilling 
like literally <laughs> like literally anyway um the fourth point is there are no legal jobs for foreigners in ukraine nobody should lie to you and tell you no when you come here you'll be able to pay your rentals you'll be able to pay your school fees what all those things please nobody should lie to you about all those things because it is not real like ukraine doesn't offer this the, the student visa that we get is just a student visa then i can only speak for a student visa so that student visa it doesn't allow you to work it doesn't permit you to work in ukraine so just know that it's you and your parents and your god that is that but then if you actually have a skill then good for you and if you're one person that is planning on developing a skill and you want to come to ukraine then at least you will make some extra cash with that because that actually sells and people tend to have money with that but other than that there are no jobs there are no legal jobs for foreign students in ukraine and nobody should lie to you before coming to ukraine okay okay so the last this leads me to the last point and the theft in ukraine is real you guys the theft in ukraine is actually very real and you have to be very careful see in fact i don't know if this makes sense but you know um when you're signing stuff here in ukraine when you just arrived in ukraine and you're really excited and whatnot please be sure to translate every little thing that you're told to sign because certain people will just make you sign stuff and they will steal from you you understand so you have to be really really careful if you have an agent you have um someone who brought you here ask the person to translate the the, the stuff that you're signing to you because you don't want to find yourself in that situation where you're just you know you know you you're, you're left no options like literally people have paid their school fees and they they're not on the school list like they're literally not there you understand so you have to be very 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 careful with all those things and you don't have to trust anybody in as much as yes you know you 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 if someone you arrived someone is going to be like ah you know what uh bring your money a b c d da, 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 whatever whatever all that stuff mm -hmm, not a problem do it you know when i just arrived the first thing my agent told me was <laughs> i think i put my back like this at the train station i put my back and he was like wait you're you're putting your back like that do you know that someone can just be passing here and carry your back because that's how crazy it is i'm not saying it's like eh, everywhere people are just stealing no but then it's something that a lot of people have experienced i have been scammed online my like i bought a phone and rubbish came people have lost money i have lost two phones see it's not about me being careless because <laughs> i know some people like hey what i know how to hold my phone when it's in my pocket where hey i was holding my phone when it was in my pocket and it still went missing so you have to be very careful um what else what else what else yeah and people have lost money in their purses inside the trains and most of the times when you're coming here obviously you're not dumb you obviously know there would be theft in ukraine but what we don't know is it, you know when you're leaving your country especially african countries if i you know if i'm not mistaken if it's really african Af um, countries we feel like ah when i come abroad things are going to be different no things are not any different so you have to be very careful hold your purses tight hold everything close to your body everything close to your body and then you guys i didn't write this but then here is very expensive so if you're one person that is planning to come to stay in ukraine for a short while or you're planning to come to ukraine to study or to visit or whatever like please just know that here in ukraine is expensive it's either you get used to it or you leave it but then it's actually expensive and you have to take note of that and also the obvious please don't try to convert your currency your the, the currency in this country to the currency back home because you will be crying 
<laughs> you actually just be crying most of the times when you start calculating you're like ah, wait so this is uh, this is what uh, what please don't in as much as um the cost of living in ukraine is favorably affordable it's when you're converting to your currency back home it's it's a whole lot so you save yourself the stress like save yourself the stress and also anyway this brings me to my last thing you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to comment like share and subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you guys can get notified every single time i upload a new video